in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top gold glitches for 2024. Every one of these gold glitches that I'm going to show in this video are some of the most efficient, cheapest, and easiest gold grinders inside of the game. I know there's a lot of complicated gold grinders in build a boat for treasure, but all the ones I'm going to show you in this video, pretty much any player can do. It's super easy, and each one of these takes minutes to set up, or even less than that. So make sure you guys stay tuned throughout the entire video, because the very last gold glitch which we look at is probably the most efficient I've ever seen inside of the game. So be sure to drop a big thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and if this video does get to 1,000 likes, we will be doing a part two where we take a look at even more gold glitches. A few of these glitches I'm gonna show you may have seen before, but they are ranked definitely high up there on the on the list of gold glitches. So we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's hop straight into the first set. So let's talk about the hinge block. The hinge block is a block inside of the game that's a hinge. It's for 50 gold inside of the shop, and it is the key to many gold glitches. I'm gonna show you three fast gold glitches with this hinge that you can do. All right, number one is this one right here we're gonna scroll inside of our inventory we're gonna have anchor block turned off we're going to place a classic firework and then we're going to grab a hinge right here i'm going to add a candy just for some extra speed and then i'm going to delete the seat then all i have to do is hold shift lock and hold space bar or just press shift lock and hold space bar and i get pushed through the stages now this will actually make me the maximum amount of gold every single time for those of you guys that don't know the more time you spend in a stage the more gold you get but i believe there's a cap on the amount of gold you get inside of the stages so you can't just sit in one stage and keep making infinite gold it doesn't work like that. I believe it's like 15 gold per stage or something. And at the end, you get like an extra like 50 per touching the chest. But this is just one method right here. This next one is also very efficient. All we're going to do is sit inside of the chair once again. But this time, instead of placing a firework, we're going to use the glue block. We're going to place the glue block right there on the inside of our avatar. We're going to place the hinge. We're going to grab a candy, delete the chair, hold space. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, yo, easy. Okay, there we go. There's going to hold space bar. And boom, we are now flying super, super fast through the stage. Stages. And once again, this will make you the maximum amount of gold every single time you go through the stage. And the last hinge glitch that I want to show you is super easy. We're going to go inside of a seat once again, just like this. And this time we're going to be using the cake block. We're going to place the cake right there on the inside of our torso. We're going to place the hinge and boom, it's the same exact thing. All three of these work almost exactly the same. There's not really one that's better than the other. They all pretty much work exactly the same. But this is one of the most efficient and reliable gold grinders inside of the game. But these next ones are even better, so stay tuned. So for this next one, we're going to place ourselves a chair just like this, and then we're going to grab a table. We're going to place two tables just like this, and then we're going to grab ourselves a servo, and we're going to flip it so the uh, dark gray part is facing towards the spawn point. And then from here, we're going to grab ourselves a truss. So once we have this truss, we're going to flip it like this, like that. So once we have that placed down, the next step we're going to do is we're going to place three wood blocks just like this. Now, you don't actually have to do it like this. If you find another way, you probably will. We're going to sit like this and we're going to place a, a firework right there on our back like this. We're going to delete these. So now we have this firework attached. We're going to go up to our gold grinder here and we're going to place a block. You have to make sure that you actually connect the, the block to the firework itself like this. We're then going to delete the post and boom, just like this. This is actually the first ever like fly glitch inside of the game. It's actually called the helicopter glitch because players made helicopters out of it and were able to fly it around the map super easily. I believe that was actually before the pilot seat got added. And you guys can see just how easily you're able to go through the stages with this. Now, at one point, they actually did patch this to where every time you went through the stages with this glitch, like, it broke your build. But for some reason, it looks like they did revert that glitch. I'm not too sure how long ago, but this right here is also a very, very easy gold grind. Up next, we have one of the most iconic glitches inside of the game. That's definitely up there and one of the most useful and cheapest glitches in the game. We're going to start with a post just like this, and we're going to grab ourselves a couple gold blocks. We're going to place gold blocks just like this on all sides. So we have this little plus shape right here. And then we're going to grab ourselves a hinge. I guess this is counting a hinge glitch. And we're going to stand up like this. We're just going to place our avatar in the middle of the hinge like so. And then all we're going to do is grab a glue block like this. I mean, and this is literally all we have to do. And then we're going to delete the post and press space and hold forward. And we start to go through the stages super, super easily. If we want to stop or slow down, we just stop clicking things. 
things and you literally just hover through the stages this is by far one of the most overpowered and easiest gold grinders this works on mobile pc i honestly don't know if it works on console or not in fact comment down below if you guys play on console i'm very curious to see how many of my viewers actually play on console i don't even know if you could even play build about on console but anyway we're going to fly over to the end and we're just gonna drop on the chest and boom just like that we make ourselves some more gold super super easily in fact let's see how much gold we actually get from that i'm gonna assume from that one we get around 200 for that glitch right there uh 219 that actually was not bad at all we will take that i'm gonna show you another one of my favorite gold grinders inside of the game this takes about less than like three minutes to set up but it is good if you guys don't like building the grinder or loading in your grinder every single time you use it you could just do this method instead but i'm just saying right now the method i show you after this is even better in fact it's the best throughout the entire video so after i show you this one we're gonna get into the number one spot so stay tuned for that but first what we're actually going to do is we're going to place ourselves down a wood rod and we're going to grab any block that can fly you can set this up with a fly glitch you can use jets you can use basically anything you want but what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab myself a firework like this or, or not a firework a portal but i'm actually going to use it with rods here so i'm going to place one rod on the back and i'm going to place myself one portal like this and i'm going to place myself another rod like this and i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to place another portal like so and then i'm going to place another one on each side so we're going to have these four portals in total actually we only need three so these two right here i'm going to put one i'm going to paint the back one red just like this which is the brightest red and i'm also going to place another one of these red as well in fact you should probably keep it this one just because we want to keep those separated because if they do collide they might get glitched out so once we actually have this by the way you can save at this point because this is pretty much all you need and then also we're gonna do is we're gonna place our last portal right there all right so now we're going to enter inside of our seat we're going to grab ourselves some wings just in case we're gonna delete the chair and we're gonna be on our way so for the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go inside of the first stage like this i'm going to turn my jet speed down i'm just gonna go to any side of the stage it could be literally any side i did not really think this through how i built this so um we might have to do two trips so you guys can see right there, I have a yellow and also a red portal. And what I'm going to do is actually anchor these. So even if the stage is refreshed, that they're not going to... And then for this last portal right here, which I should have added on the opposite side of what I built, I'm actually going to fly this all the way to the end treasure. You guys will see exactly why I'm going to do this. So when I'm approaching the end treasure like this... Wow, I almost just got hit by a puffer fish. Oh my goodness. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly down as far as I can get. And then I'm going to anchor everything right about there. Or maybe just a little bit more. Right about there. That should be fine. I'm going to going to delete this and also the seat like that and you guys will see the magic happen now so basically what's going to happen is uh all i have to do now is literally walk through this portal which uh, uh, theoretically you could just bring this portal a little bit closer to the spawn so you don't have to walk as far all i have to do is walk through here and i appear inside of this stage so i'm gonna go through here like this i'm gonna wait literally like five to nine seconds in between there just so that way the game can detect that i'm actually inside of the stage then i just go through here and now i'm at the end treasure and you could actually just keep on making gold blocks super easily this is actually very good for grinding gold blocks specifically you're not going to make a ton of gold off of this but by literally just walking and doing literally nothing you can make gold very easily in fact let's see how much gold we get from that let's see here we get 93 gold literally just by walking. but what if you could actually make more than that by literally doing nothing within five minutes of setting up this afk grinder that i'm going to show you you can set it up and then make gold go go eat a bag of doritos and make gold at the same time you this is how to make a very very simple and basic gold grinder inside of the game all i have to do is place a wheel straight up just like this literally like that make sure your anchor block is turned on and then take any block you want and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this out 50 blocks like this so once we have the 50 blocks laid out like this now we're on to the next step and by the way this is super easy to do but they're gonna take that same wheel and we're gonna place it like this so it's a halfway on the block so I'll make sure it looks somewhat like this actually it has to look. and then we're gonna take that same plastic block that we used before and we're gonna go one one, two, three, four, five. Whoops. And then we're going to do one, two down like this. So it should have this shape. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to place ourselves a portal block. Now you're probably wondering, wait a second, hold up. I don't have a portal. Don't worry. I have a video where you can actually get four of these portals. I believe it's four of them 
It's either two or four. I think it's four. For free inside of the game. I'll leave a link to it down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. So make sure you place a portal right here. And now we're going to take our brand new property tool. We're going to select everything like this and we're going to turn collision off. And then we're also going to change the wheel torque right here to the bright green one. Okay, the one that's to the very far right. And then one of the last steps here is we're going to click on the wheel that we placed at the very beginning. And we're going to put the wheel speed all the way down to five like that. Now you're wondering, what are we going to do with just one portal? Well, we have to set up another portal. So I'm gonna turn my anchor block off and we're gonna use that same gold grinder that we were using from earlier with the firework We're gonna place this right on the front like that And then we're gonna take the hinge block and then all we have to do is just place a portal once again Like we'll just put it right on the top. We're gonna delete this and oh, I gotta turn myself I, I should have I should have faced the other way. Uh, this is awkward now Um, can I let's turn me around at all? Nope. I'm just gonna fly into the abyss aren't I? Yep Yeah, all right. So now that we have that right there We're just gonna fly this to the uh the front of the first state This is pretty much the last step we have to do and then you can start making gold super easy and the best part about this is you don't actually have to build that every single time you can save it on a save slot so you can load it in anytime you want the only part you have to do is set up this portal right well, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go probably right about here we don't want to be too close to the wall and we're just gonna anchor everything like this and then we can get rid of the hinge block and the firework we don't need those anymore now what we just created right there was a spawn catcher which means this portal is going to take us off of the spawn without us having to do anything and then we're gonna teleport to the front of the first stage and it's gonna push us through the first stage to the second and then instantly making us oof and then we're gonna respawn back and it's gonna grab us again which i'm gonna demonstrate here in just a second but before i get into that i want to give a huge shout out to waz and you gray for coming up with this concept right here this afk concept make sure you guys go show love and go subscribe to them this is like the best basic afk grinder there is and i just have to include it in the video so all we're gonna do now is place a switch we're gonna activate the switch oh there we go i forgot to unanchor so yeah you unanchor it right there so now we have this made right so we're gonna reset like this and then it should grab us like so from our spawn point so we just chill here for a second boom it teleports us and now we can eat pizza rolls and make gold at the same time which you guys can see we're gonna make some gold right here and then it's gonna teleport us back like so so you guys can see we just got the gold there it's gonna teleport us back and boom we're back inside of the stage making gold over and over again so i mean you guys can see there that one you literally don't have to do a single thing and you make gold completely for free and it's super super cheap to make as well but if you guys have any other gold glitch that you think is more overpowered than this go ahead and comment them down below now i know that there's a few other afk gold grinders that are way better but for starters and new players these are probably the best inside of the game but be sure to drop a big thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all inside of the next one peace out and